Uh, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and today we're going to take a look at PC Tools Internet Security version 6.0. Um, as many people already know, PC Tools uh, Spyware Doctor with antivirus is one of my favorite applications. And I'm going to go ahead and just test out their internet security products. Now, I really don't use internet security products myself. Um, I have antivirus on my computer, and that's pretty much it. Um, and I, I have a, a Cisco PIX firewall, and I don't know. I know my PC is clean. I just don't need it. Some people are pretty paranoid and like to see every single little process running on their PC, and they want to see if it's suspicious and... That's kind of what these products are for. Personally, I just use the... Uh, I have the Windows XP firewall turned off, and I have a hardware router slash firewall. But if you really want to see what's going on in your PC, then uh, Internet Security product might be the way to go. Uh, they allow you to analyze all kinds of processes and shut certain processes down from connecting to the internet. Um, during the install, this is kind of new. I haven't seen this in the last version. I was testing Browser Defender makes browsing safer. It allows you to surf uh, safely by displaying websites, website ratings as you search. Block successive pop-ups, checks downloads for viruses, adware, spyware, or other possibly unwanted programs. I'll go ahead and install that. Okay, it says it wants to close Internet uh, Explorer. That's fine. And uh, I may have to pause this video a couple times because I got some crazy things going on over at the house right now. So bear with me. I have evaluated like uh, 15 products this week, and two of them really, really stood out. And uh, I wish I could uh, tell you, but I can't right now. Got to keep it a surprise. So hang on a second. Say hello, people. Hello, people. That's my daughter, Jasmine. Okay, it wants me to restart, so that's what I'll go ahead and do now. And then I'll pause the video while it's restarting, because this, uh, this newly infected virtual machine uh, takes forever. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, PC is now rebooting. As you can see, this uh, this PC has over a thousand threats on it, and I've only seen one program clean it completely off. And uh, I'm going to re reveal that program uh, in one of my next reviews. It'll be a surprise review. Um, there's so much, so much malware on this PC now. This would probably be uh, one of my calls that, that would require me to use a bootable CD. But we're really, really putting detection and removal to the test here. And I got, uh, I got a few things that I want to say. Um, when I'm evaluating a product, I only evaluate its detection and removal abilities. I, I do not test prevention. So I can't speak to prevention, uh, how, how good a product prevents certain things. I'm assuming if it can detect it and remove it, it's also going to prevent it. So that's kind of what I go by. Uh, I do not email malware to random people on YouTube. Sorry. Um, this machine got infected by browsing the internet for two months on an unprotected network. The machine had no antivirus and no patches. It's Windows XP. 
uh, service pack two, and uh, that's how I got infected. So please don't ask me to email stuff. I don't do that. Um, what else? Uh, as you can see, the PC is severely jacked up, so I have to pause this video a couple times so I can get through all this junk. So once I get unlocked here, uh, I'll go ahead and continue with the review. Hang on. Okay, uh, a few minutes later, about five minutes later, everything's fully started, and I've got several pop-ups from PC Tools Internet Security. It wants to activate quiet mode. Internet security includes a firewall quiet mode, which is designed to reduce the number of firewall alerts for potentially malicious actions. Uh, would you like to, like to activate quiet mode? Um, yeah, I guess I will. Uh, PC Tools has also found a suspicious application. And yeah, this is a, a, a malware based application, so I'm going to block it. And then also, it wants to run uh, an update, so I'm going to go ahead and run an update. And turn my network card back on. Found several updates. Uh, probably totaling 30 megabytes, I would say. Um, all the PC tools downloads, uh, all their updates are really, really fast. I have like a 3 meg connection, and they come down really quickly, actually. And this is a big update right here. It's about a 18 meg update on its own. It's downloading uh, the security database. Uh, I have a big feeling this review is going to be kind of long because these internet security products take a long time to go through because there's so many different components. And now that my update's installed, I'll go ahead and shut off my network card. And PC Tools is restarting right now. Um, XP Antivirus 2009 has got this fake little blue screen um, stupidness. It really does get on your nerves. I put an article on my on my uh, blog, remove malwarecom of uh, the guys who make this uh, this rogue uh, application. It's called Baka Baka Software over in Russia. Uh, most of the evil applications out there come from Russia these days. So, I didn't know where it came from, but it's no big shock to me. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, part two of the video. I'll be right back.